In 2004, Columbia voters overwhelmingly supported a renewable energy mandate for the City of Columbia. The ordinance requires increasing amounts of renewable energy be supplied by Columbia Water and Light. So it gradually steps up, ending at 30% of the electric supply coming from renewable resources by 2029. Columbia Water and Light has a mix of resources in our renewable energy portfolio. The biggest is wind, the next is landfill gas, as well as burning waste wood at the power plant and a little bit of solar. All of those sources combined equaled about 7% in 2013. With wind energy, we get that from out of town. This area of Missouri doesn't have high enough wind speeds, with the exception of maybe a few days this winter, where we can support a big, huge wind turbine. So we get those from Iowa and northwest Missouri. Solar is obviously a great local resource. It's been pretty expensive up until now. We've seen the price becoming a little bit more reasonable, so we can see maybe potential for that resource to be developed here locally. Columbia Water and Light has actually two different ways that we produce renewable energy here in Columbia. Uh, the first one is here at the Municipal Power Plant, which is located on the business loop, where we mix wood chips with coal and use those in a boiler to produce steam to generate power. We burn roughly about 10,000 tons of wood a year, which at the end of the day produces almost 1% of the total energy that Columbia uses in any given year. The other thing that Water and Light does is, in conjunction with the Public Works Department, we operate the landfill gas plant. Public Works gathers the methane that's generated from the landfill, delivers it to our plant at the landfill, and we use reciprocating engines to burn the methane to produce electric energy. And we're expecting to be able to produce about 20,000 megawatt hours per year, which would amount to about 2% of Columbia's total energy use. The renewable energy mandate says that our renewable energy portfolio can't raise rates more than 3% of what they currently are. And we came in about 37% last year, so we're well under the cost cap for those renewable resources. During the 2014 budget cycle, there was no rate increase due to the renewable energy portfolio. For the future for renewable generation in Columbia, uh, we can expect to add another engine at the landfill gas plant once gas production reaches a higher level. And then we are always, at the municipal plant, trying to find ways to burn more and more biomass. Last year, Columbia Water and Light sent out a request for proposals on different types of renewable energy that were out there. We're currently looking those over, seeing if there's any new sources of renewable energy that are cost effective that will work well with our electric portfolio. We also are looking into starting a community solar program, and that would be a small solar farm, if you will, that people could buy into. So customers that aren't able to install solar at their own homes, they could buy into the program. So those are our two biggest goals for next year to accomplish.